Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. I didn't see you get on. so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the Citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefit. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safer here. this stuff. It's all I have left. <laughs> all right, I'm moving. Jeez. Are you the only ones on that train? Overwatch stopped our train in the woods and took my husband for questioning. Welcome. They said he'd be Welcome on the next train. To City 17. I'm not sure when that you was. Have chosen Did there there be nice though letting me wait for him? finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safe for you. Don't drink the water. They put something in it to, to make you forget. I don't even remember how I got here. They're always departing, but they never arrive. And the ones that do arrive, they, they never leave. You never see them go. They're always full. No one ever gets on, but they're always, they're always departing, but they never arrive. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have I see they took your suitcase, too. They can't get away with this much longer. To one of our finest remaining urban cities. <clears throat> I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here. In the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors, I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's Must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else.
about that beer I owed you. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Oh, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon? Good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. field and let us breed again. Allow me to address the anxieties underlying your concerns, rather than try to answer every possible question you might have left unvoiced. First, let us consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is in our reach. This simple fact has far-reaching implications. It requires radical rethinking and revision of our genetic imperatives. It also requires <coughs> planning the wise. and forethought Keep it and to yourself. direct opposition to our neural precepts. <coughs> I find it helpful that You'll have to wait your like turn like everybody else. That our true enemy I don't know about you, but I'm ready to try the civil protection just to get a decent meal. Instinct meaning. was our mother when we were an infant species. Instinct coddled us and kept us safe in those hard scrabble years when we hardened our sticks and cooked our first meals above a meager fire and started at the shadows that wrecked upon the cavern's walls. But inseparable from instinct is its dark twin, superstition. Instinct is inextricably bound to unreasoning impulses, and today we clearly see its true nature. Instinct has just become aware of its irrelevance, and like a cornered beast, <coughs> it will not go down without a bloody fight. Instinct would inflict a fatal injury on our species. Instinct creates its own oppressors and bids us rise up against them. Instinct tells us that the unknown is a threat rather than an opportunity. 
instinct slyly and covertly compels us away from change and progress. Instinct, therefore, must be expunged. It must be fought tooth and New nail, town, beginning you? with the basest of human urges, the urge to reproduce. We should thank our benefactors for giving us respite from this overpowering force. They have thrown a switch and exercised our demons in a single spirit. They have given us the strength we never could have summoned to overcome this compulsion. They have given us purpose. They have turned our eyes toward the stars. Let me assure you that the suppressing starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find If I one. talk to you out here, we'll both be in trouble. He's one of us. Look at him down there. Just this once, I hope you're wrong. I, I told you they'd be coming for us. I can't take it anymore. Everything's gonna be okay. What are we going to do? When is it all going to end? Don't worry. Please. It's all right. Attention, residents. Miscount detected in your block. Cooperation with your civil protection team. Tenant full ration reward. Hey, you! In here! <clears throat> Head for the roof! There's no time to lose! Help! Failure to cooperate will result in permanent or worse relocation. Citizens, 
been noticed. Priority. Get in here, quick! Identification. Keep Check moving, head for the move! Dr. Freeman, I presume. We'd better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure you don't remember me, though. Man, a few words, aren't you? Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. <laughs> don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. Funny, you showing up on this day in particular. We've been helping people escape the city on foot. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab. Through the old canals. Today, we're finally on the verge of having a better way. Here, let me buy you a drink. Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. Did she get to? 
Lamar! Come out of there! Uh-oh, everything all right, Dr. Kleiner? Oh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... My goodness, Gordon Freeman. It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loveliness. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, it's here. There you are. Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. He's coming with me. That's right, Barney. This is a red letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous what about. Cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his civvies. What? Oh dear, you're right. I almost forgot. Barney? I'll give you the honor. <laughs> I've got to get back on my shift, but okay. Here we go. Ah! Damn it, get it off me! Lamar, there you are. I thought you got rid of that pet. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's de-beaked and completely harmless. The worst she might do is attempt to couple with your head fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me! Here, my pet. Up, up. No, not up there! No, no! Careful, Lamar. Those are quite fragile! Oh, fie. It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney, you're not an animal person. <laughs> HEV suit still fits you like a glove. At least, the glove parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just agree to this. The Mark V hazardous environment has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Oh dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. At least get that suit you stop for A Good idea. There's a charger on the wall. you position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my word. Isaac, are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a hold-up on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. Uh, that's not who I think it is. Indeed it is. And it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? We're all set on this end. Then let's do it. That's what you said. 
said last time. Hey, uh, yeah, about that cat. I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon through now. Right you are. Speak to you again in a few moments. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. All right, Barney. Your turn. Gee, thanks. Gordon, as you we'll send you to Eli's. And not a moment too soon. Initializing in three, two, one. Uh, Barney, if you'd be so kind. Good luck out there, Gordon. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Final sequence. What the hell? What is it? It's your man, the freaking headhopper! Mark, let me go! Hey, Gordon! The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Get out of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's, it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it.